And now I'm going down into a nuclear bunker, which is at the bottom of the garden. I mean, look how flipping cool this place is in here. Look at this lovely view I woke up to this morning. And can you see that? That, guys, is called Blue Sky. And there's a little bit of sunshine as well today. Good, beautiful morning, guys. How are you doing today? Hopefully fresh and well and beautiful on a fine and fantastic day again today. I can actually say it's fine and fantastic because it is. Look at it. I have just woke up from the Haycock Hotel. This is where I stayed last night. Big old bed. Love that. Today, I'm up here. I'm filming a big project uh, for The Gadget Show, a big TV show here in the UK on Channel 5. Today is going to be flipping awesome and epic. I've been looking forward to doing this one for so long. It's going to be awesome. So yes, just got to pack up all of my bags and get ready to go. All right, so I just checked out of my hotel. This place is lovely. Oh, is that my car? I completely forgot what car I had. I got this wagon over here, a Skoda. Yeah. <laughs> How cool is this? Barbster, Barbster 360. Look at the name, it's a Roomster. How flipping pimping. Love that. Okay guys, so we're just driving now to the first location. It's a couple of miles away from the hotel. I've got Chris, uh, my runner, who's just behind me at the moment. He was stayed in the same hotel as me last night, so he's driving as well. And hopefully when we get to this location, our sound guy's gonna be there. Um, but I'm just kind of like running through everything in my head. Like, one last time before I get there, just, just making sure I've like mentally got everything prepared in my mind, like, you know, questions to ask, how to film certain things and stuff. But I am, I'm so looking forward to this one, guys. All right, guys, I'm going down. Now then, I have had a very good and productive day filming so far, okay? We've got to a little bit of a break, and now I'm going down into a nuclear bunker, which is at the bottom of the garden. I mean, look how flipping cool this place is in here. And led on the sofa, we have Colin. This is who I'm filming today, basically, for the Gadget Show. And we've been getting on very well. We've been filming some awesome and epic things. Can't tell you exactly what we've been filming and stuff, but how do you feel like it's gone so far? Oh, it's good, yeah. It's yeah. break time now, people. So it's break time. I've just sent Chris off to get some pizza, so yeah. we're all hungry. I'm looking forward to me for down and pizza. That's all I'm thinking about right now. That's the thing. When you go filming, when you film with me and stuff, you know, we, we sort you out, we get pizzas on the game and all you're that. You're good man, James. You're on it. <laughs> Clearly, you're in control of the job. So if you don't know who Colin is, Colin Furs is like a crazy inventor. He just makes big, wild and wacky things. I mean, just look at the stuff which is just hanging on the wall. I mean, look at this. Yeah, this yeah. unbelievable thing. Oh, hold on. Now Very we recognise you. There. That's we recognise you now, look, yeah. we've got the shirt and tie oh, on. The guy in the tie, oh. yeah, that's it, that's me. There it is, but we've got like, you know, you've broke so many world records. Look at all these, biggest bonfire, largest, uh, longest motorcycle, fastest speed mobility scooter. That's the first video I actually saw yeah, that of was, yours, that which was, was the like me, um, 70 mile first... an hour like granny mobile, like bee, like yin and long, drifting it through the fields. Yeah, that was my first viral video, yeah. that was. What was that, about four years ago now? Five years? more than that. Man. Oh, really? Yeah. Because that's like the first one I remember seeing it. Then when I got asked to come here and like film and stuff, I was like... It was 2010. Holy moly, it's that guy. How cool is that? 2010? Yeah, 2010. Blimey. So, so six years ago. Five or six years ago now. Crikey. That was pretty amazing. And now, obviously, he's gone on to like huge and epic things. Hence, this bunker is underneath his front lawn. Who would have thought this, eh? Hey, Who would have thought that? Exactly. This. It's unbelievable. Crazy. Anyway, we've probably had a, enough of a little break. We better yeah, <laughs> go see everyone else. It. I'm hungry. We're hungry, <laughs> aren't we? We've had our day at it. I know. We've we still got another half a day of filming to go, but we're all right. Yeah, we're all good. We're going to go drift driving right. next, aren't we? So that is where the entrance is, yep. through the shed. And that is where we were, right underneath there. We were about here at the edge of it. Far edge is probably about here. Yeah. Because uh, it's big as well, it's not a small... Yeah, I think the tunnel ends about here, and that's your whole route. 
Yeah, you can kind of see good. we've got like the line of turf, which I guess you would have laid over the top of it. Yeah, that's where it all changed. We've got the vents, look. Oh, yeah. The ventilation comes down. And obviously, yeah, the entrance. And then we've got the shed here, look. Where all the, all the that's where all the are. main stuff's made and stuff. It's unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. And this is where all the magic happens in here. Yeah, this is this is the main room. This is where most things have are created. This is all the contraptions. The unbelievable things. There's just there's just stuff everywhere. Every every little nook and cranny you look in, you can just find a lot of people. <sighs> this is like most guys' dream, like yeah, having a shed like shed, this. This one with every single tool. Just I don't know. Imaginable. What's happened in this shed? Mate? I know it's unbelievable. All right, guys, and how fun was that? Seeing all of his crazy inventions and gadgets and stuff down there, like, literally blew me away. But we're not done yet. We're now going to another location, 10 minute drive or something or so away. Um, I don't know if I'll really better film anything at this location. Again, if I can, I'll try. But if not, I can't show it. <laughs> what a beautiful part of the world I'm in here. Look at these incredible views and the sun is shining. It's looking lovely. I mean, dudes, look at this. It just gets better and better driving around here. Holy moly. I feel like I'm at the setting of a Harry Potter movie or something. So cool. Okay, dudes, and now that is a wrap on today's film and little project. I didn't really, well, I didn't film anything for you guys on location number two, unfortunately. If you want to see exactly what we got up to, you're going to have to watch the TV program, which is going to be airing in about a month's time. I haven't got the exact date uh, as of yet, but nearer the time I can let you guys know when this one will be aired and likewise with all the other gadget show projects and filming and stuff I've been doing, I can let you know who's it going to be aired and what time and what day and stuff. But honestly, I have had a flipping fun and fantastic day today. It was, it was just one of those one of those days where everything just went so well, so much fun. And now I've got to drive all the way back home down to Somerset. It should take me, it says just over three and a half hours. But when I looked on the maps just now, there's a lot of red roads around like Birmingham and stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if I was held up just a little bit. Yeah, hi, can I get a caramel latte, please? That is a medium or large? Um, I'll have a large, please. Yeah. And I think that'll be it, thank you. Any sugar in there? Uh, not in the caramel, no. No, okay, is that everything? <laughs> yeah, that's fine, thanks. Okay, then if you drive around, there's one where you get the window in a minute. All right, cheers. I thought to myself, I'm going to stop in the services and get a cheeky little caramel latte for the drive home so I've been stuck in traffic for ages. Thank you. It's not working. It's still not working. It doesn't seem to be working. Cool. Cheers. Thanks, Thank you very much. Bye. I am so hungry, I'm getting me some fish and chips. We've finally made it home. Luckily, the fish and chip shop is literally one minute up the road. So, I've got these bad boys for me and for Holly. And that journey took <laughs> four hours, 47 minutes to be precise. I mean, look. That number there, four hours, 48 minutes. That was a long journey home, and I would definitely need a wee wee. Like, really bad now. Look at that, as soon as I walk in the door, so does Holly, I'll get you a bag of chippers. Chippers! <laughs> I got fish and chips, and Holly just got one big bag of chippers. Okay, so I just had to sneak away from Holly. Shh, I need to get some sellotape and some scissors. All right, guys, so I've now had to sneak all the way upstairs into my old bedroom because tomorrow is Holly's birthday and we are going to London at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning and I still haven't wrapped any of her presents. 
and I've literally just managed to find some like Christmas wrapping paper, which is fine because Holly loves Christmas. Okay, <laughs> now we could go quickly wrap up some of her presents. And as you can tell, I'm not the best at wrapping, but I think those two would do. Ah, all right, now I've finally made it to the sofa, had a little shower, and I've just noticed one little thing, okay? I'm wearing a NASA t-shirt, and... I'm also wearing a NASA t-shirt. I don't know what to think about that, Holly. Let's just not think about it. <laughs> I didn't even know we were in the same t-shirt. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's adventure. I showed you a little sneak peek of Colin and Colin Furs is like amazing and awesome kind of house, his workshop, his nuclear bunker and stuff. If you don't know who he is and you haven't subscribed to him, go over and check him out. He is such an awesome and fun, like incredible dude. I'll put a link in the description. Go over, check it out. Yeah, seriously, you won't be disappointed. It was so much fun filming and stuff for that today. And yes, it was for The Gadget Show, which is a big TV show here in the UK on Channel 5. Like I said earlier, I will let you guys know as soon as I know what actual date is going to be aired on and stuff. Anyway, tomorrow is Holly's birthday and we are going to be hitting up London. Holly's got lots and lots planned. She wants to get cake and she wants to do this and she wants to do that. We're staying there tomorrow night, so we've got another two days awesome adventure, basically. It's going to be a fun time, so thank you guys for watching. I'm going to kind of relax just a little bit get my editing done, and then we've got to be up very early to go to London. So I will now leave you with those three very important things, which are, as always, stay happy, stay positive, stay awesome. I mean, Holly, we'll see all of you bright and early tomorrow morning. Oh, Goodbye. I mean, look at this beast which I've got here. I'm not quite sure if it's a van or is it a car? Okay, right, I really need to go because this weather